Just think of me as that weird aunt who comes to Christmas and brings the books your parents would not buy you. It's time for the Friday Nightmare. This week is a story about a story that I call My Carrie. My high school library had a copy of Stephen King's Carrie. I read it three times in a row, fascinated by this young woman who suffered bullying and religious abuse until something godlike inside of her left a trail of blood that was ankle deep. My favorite part was the ending. You can really tell King is a Dracula fan by the way he describes the town's reaction to finding her grave an empty, blasted crater as if something had exploded from below. A few years later, I saw the Brian De Palma movie starring Sissy Spacek. It was wonderful, but they changed the ending. Carrie stayed dead, and it broke my heart. When Brian Fuller remade it again in 2002 with Angela Bettis as Carrie, I was relieved to see someone had fixed that mistake. Finally, Carrie got the happy ending she deserved. I started telling every horror fan I knew about it. That's when I found out that Carrie doesn't get out of her grave in the books. Friends and strangers online told me I was nuts, that Carrie had always died, and I insisted I had read it, and they were wrong. But one trip to the mall showed me they weren't. I started crying at a damn Walden books. Apparently, I imagined Carrie's survival. Last year, I happened to be at my old high school as part of a speaking event for local authors. It was held in the library, and I arrived early enough to kill some time. On a whim, I looked for my Carrie. She was there, the old hefty hardback the teenage me had to prop up on a desk to comfortably read. My name was still written on the card glued to the front cover. I flipped to the last few pages. The paper there was tattered and singed, as if someone had tried to burn it. Red stains covered entire paragraphs, leaving only the occasional word legible, like the head of people drowning in a bloody sea. I swear the book vibrated in my hands. I heard a noise like an engine running at full tilt and smelled a fire somewhere far off. I don't think her grave was the only thing that my Carrie got out of. And I tell you this, I couldn't be happier. As always, if you enjoy that story, please check out my collection, Stranger Words and the Rook Circle, available on Amazon or wherever dangerous books are sold. Until next week, good night.